good. Okay, instructions for transmission. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah. 4060. As soon as you get it yeah. in, put four quarts of fluid in the transmission. And then as soon as the engine starts in neutral, put six more quarts, a total of 10 quarts. And then um, pull it down to manual first with the engine idling and it should kick right into gear. Idle it up just a little bit, say around 1,000 RPMs. It should kick into second mm -hmm. if everything's hooked up right. Um, and then third and then fourth. And then shift to neutral and then put your foot on the brake. Don't put your foot on the brake with it still in gear for the first few times till fluids totally circulates. Okay. Put it in reverse and let go of the brake and um, let it go in reverse a little bit. Wheels, of course, off the ground so the wheels are just spinning. Yeah. And then put it back in neutral, put your foot on the brake, check your fluid level, keep playing with it till you get it full. Those are hard to check. You have to stab it several times to get it totally full, a little at a time till you get it full. Check for leaks and then put it in drive, overdrive and let it shift, kind of idle it up a little bit and it should go one, two, three, four. And then do that about 10 times. Put your foot on the brake, stop, put it back in drive again, you know, let it shift about 10 times mm -hmm. up into overdrive, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. And then if everything looks good, no drips, no fluid leaks or nothing like that, and everything's working good, put her on the ground and drive it. See what you got. Cool. So you want us to do this with the wheels off the ground on a lift, preferably? Mm -hmm. Just so, how, how high off the ground? About like this high, just off the ground? Who cares? As long yeah. as the wheels can long. turn. Okay. If you try to put an automatic transmission in, usually without having the wheels off the ground so that it can turn, mm -hmm. it can burn it up. Really? Wow. So you got to basically break it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You have to let the wheels turn and let it shift through all the gears with the wheels off the ground, just as long as they can. Or you can pull the drive shaft out if you want to or, or whatever, mm -hmm. but the, the transmission has to turn everything in there to get through all the gears to get all the air out of the system so it doesn't try to burn it up. Oh. Sometimes in motor homes where you can't get the wheels off the ground, mm -hmm. it's easy to burn the transmission up because you can't get the wheels off the ground. You oh, have to yeah. really be careful with motor homes wow. and heavy stuff because yeah. those, like class C's and class B's. Yeah. Or, so you yeah, have to get those wheels off the ground and let them spin as it goes up. As gotcha. it shifts to get all the air out of the system. I gotcha. And then when when the air gets out of the system, where is it coming out of in the transmission? Is it just vent. right out the vent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome, man, man. And make sure your vent's hooked up really good there, to where it doesn't. Uh, okay. Um, make sure it can't get water in it or something. This is the vent right here, yeah, right? That's the vent tube. Okay. And when you go to do the flushing right of the cooling system, you're feeding that spray stuff into which end and which end? Yeah, you got two lines uh -huh. coming. You got two lines down underneath there. Before you even get yep. the transmission underneath, just yep. put an empty jug on one line and just hold on to it and yep. get that can and put it on the other line and blow half of that can through the cooling system to blow all the fluid out of the cooling system in the radiator area, hmm. blow it into the jug, and then flip it around, put the jug on the other line, and put the can on this one and blow it the other way. Mm -hmm. And then when you get done with that, take your air blower, shop air, and just blow through one of the lines and make sure everything's down. Get the metal mm -hmm. shavings That's a good out. Idea too, mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And then you said about this thing here, that, that talking motor, right? Um, you yeah. Make sure it's making that grinding sound when yeah. you're pushing it. Make sure on that it. you can hear it like, like yeah. that. It's touching the case up okay. front. Gotcha. So it, if it's in far enough to yeah. where it's supposed to be, yeah. you'll hear it hit the case a little bit. Because okay. when you put it in yeah. and you bolt it up, it's going to pop it back. Oh, okay. something else to remember yes. too. Uh -huh. When you start the converter bolts, start all three bolts before yeah. you tighten any of them. And then um, when you start the third bolt, you want to yeah. pop that bolt back into the flywheel. Okay. In other words, you want to pull that converter all the way in to the back of the motor. Okay. If you don't do that, some people will put all the bolts in there and then they'll start tightening the bolt and it can flex the flex plate at an angle. And if it does that, it may not pull the converter back in. It may run it crooked mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. break the pump. Oh. So you always want to, because you've only got like, you know, um, three sixteenths of an inch to pull it back because mm -hmm. it has to stay in the pump gear mm -hmm. to turn the pump and everything has to be lined up. But you have to make sure that you pull the converter all the way back into the into the flywheel okay so when we pull it back into the flywheel it won't it's just a minimal amount it still won't pull it too far out from the inside right okay yeah. you've only got like i said you've only got just, like three sixteenths of an inch between the flywheel and the converter once you get all the bell housing bolts in yeah once you get all that tight then um you know line up turn it over put one bolt in and finger tight get turn them all it around get tight. all three of them yeah. finger tight and then take a screwdriver and just grab that converter and 
pop it back in against the flywheel. Toward the block? Mm -hmm. Toward okay. the engine block. Okay. And then and then after and you, you get them all in, then tighten them all down. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Okay. okay, I think we're good. So eh? if we don't do that, you could possibly uh, mess up the pump. Yeah. If it, uh, uh, the, why would it mess up the pump? Because it's just not perfectly because aligned. It, if you don't pull that back, then when you start tightening the flywheel, the flywheel can flex over some. And when you start tightening those bolts, the flywheel can actually flex a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's, you know, it's not that thick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it yeah. It's kind of thick, but not that thick. Yeah. And so if you crank it with it cocked at an angle like that mm -hmm. a little bit, then it can... It can wow, the that's scary. Yeah. I didn't realize it was such a science. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. good thing we I found mean, out. you did this for a living, so it, it mm -hmm. makes sense, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen it all. Oh, yeah, I've seen some crazy <laughs> stuff. Oh, be sure you got both dial pins in the back of that block. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure because that's, that's what holds that level straight. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you said, did you say 10 times uh, running through the gears? Mm -hmm. 10 times. Right, okay. So One, first, two, second, three, third, four. fourth. Mm -hmm. And usually you got to get up to about 60 or 70. Yeah, something like that. Okay. You can, when you idle it up a little bit around 1200 RPMs and you take off and you manually shift it up, you can you can feel it jump. You know, you can see the speedometer jump up. So idle you it up tell. in neutral to 1200 and then shift it? No, 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 no. no don't Put do it in that gear and then, and then idle it up in gear. Okay, okay. And, and let just, just let it run through speed up and let it go on shift. Okay, okay. Cool. Cool, man. Awesome. Make sure you got no okay. codes in there and, you know. Oh, yeah. Scanner, so. yeah, yeah, clear yeah, codes yeah. and everything. Cool, so man. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we're hoping. Uh, yeah, we're. I'm gonna try to get it in.